and the date is Friday 11, uh, Friday 11, uh, 25, November 25, uh, and it's 11, and I'm still hearing telepathic voices, and I still recommend people record and write down and make drawings of the telepathic voices they hear. It's very uh, therapeutic, and therapeutic means that it, it can be a healing experience where you feel better eventually. Uh, so I'm hearing telepathic voices these last two days about uh, the um, nightclub Opium Barcelona and a woman, a Norwegian woman and a Muslim man, uh, where the Muslim man uh, apparently have taken uh, the woman captured in, uh, in at the toilet and have cut off her, kn her kneecaps with a knife. I was told telepathically, and then she was being tortured, and they were saying that they were gonna cut off her legs and arms, and then uh, uh, put a syringe into her head, and then make her pregnant. Uh, and th what they're angry about is uh, uh, that she's a racist, that I'm a racist. But I, I'm a man who got the most international family on the planet. I made the biggest and most international family on the planet. Uh, by being a sperm donor, so I'm not a racist in any ways, but that's what they said, I'm just a racist, so that's why they want to kill my daughter, or torture my daughter for a lifetime, where they just want to keep her in this back room, uh, where they cut off her legs and cut off her arms and keep on uh, sexually harassing her, and try where they're trying to torture her soul and spirit un uh, until she hates myself and hates herself and don't want to be alive any longer. Uh, that's the sort of telepathic voices I'm hearing and in that sort of like genre and then I even saw telepathic pictures of the other torture scenes that I've seen with women getting stoned um, a woman who got stoned in the Middle East a woman who got a head cut off in the Middle East a man who was put on his knees by a group of Muslims that grouped up on him and cut off his head and this is the tele telepathy I was experiencing from Muslim behaving evil and mean with me it's the most international man you can find on this planet there's no more international man who I made the biggest family on this planet and they're behaving evil with me who even got family in the mi Middle East I got uh, sons and daughters with women in the Middle East I just find that Muslims are evil those extremist Muslims are just very nasty and evil and they behave like these nasty evil zombies with telepathy and telekinesis too uh, what the, it reminds me of this strange zombie movie where the zombies figure out that if they gather in a group then they can kill people, but if they walk by themselves, then they can't kill people. So then they all figure out that they just gather in a group and then they start killing people to feel superior to people. But in the spiritual realm, I truly believe that you Muslims that want to feel superior by putting people on their knees with group pressure, putting group pressure on people's faces, faces putting group pressure on families so they split apart, putting group pressure, being behaving dominating with women, uh, where you guys think they get turned on by it because they make noises or because their faces get soft like this or something uh, I truly don't believe that that's what w women truly wish for in life I do truly don't believe that's what men wish for in life and I truly believe that God completely disagrees with Muslims uh, behavior also this way that you guys kill the cows torture the cows put them out in public and are evil and how you guys in, uh, make evil jokes and even kill uh, humans and, and sell them as uh, meat in the restaurant and say that the oil in the falafel is from humans too. If it isn't or if it is, it's just very evil uh, and nasty and you, and you guys are just behaving like these nasty evil racist zombies where you keep on saying, oh, but we went near a woman who is white and then we put group pressure on her and we thought I like tortured her by manipulating her mind. And then we're not racist because she is white. That is sort of like the mentality of Muslims, uh, where I find Muslims to be uh, stupid, evil, low intelligence, zombie-like behavior, uh, butchers, uh, butchers, and people who make people, uh, what's it called, drink sugar, sugar daddies, those sugar daddies that make the children drink sugar so they lose their teeth so they look stupid. So the so they got holes in the teeth on pain, sugar daddies, tobacco, uh, tobacco making the children smoke tobacco, so they get cancer, so they get skin diseases. These sort of people uh, are not going to become to reincarnate and become babies again whatsoever. Like God has got to put them their spirit in a prison, and you guys are just gonna stay in a prison. I meditate about what God is gonna do with you guys' spirit behaving this way, and you're just gonna get put in a in a 
prison, even though you guys put women or men in prison physically here on this planet, and with your zombie-like behavior of, of going in a group and just group pressuring people, even though that might uh, work out for you uh, in these in this hundred years of your body's physical lifetime, when your physical body dies, you Muslim that think this way, when your physical body dies and your spirit uh, goes away from your physical body, even though you made children where there's another spirit, even though you made children, when your physical spirit goes away from your body, you will experience that God would will interview you about everything you have done and God is going to put you in prison and you're never going to become even an animal, even an insect. You're never going to become even a human for behaving so evil uh, with people on this planet. When they keep on telling you to behave good, to behave in a nice way, God wants people to behave in a nice, good, loving way with each other, respectfully uh, figuring out each other's wishes, with respect for each other, thinking about each other. Not everybody can get what they wish for, but when people talk about what each other wish for, people really got to be res more respectful with women too. Women don't enjoy just being group pressured, humiliated, uh, fakely celebrated, uh, taken away from their father. They don't, in taken away from their boyfriend. They don't enjoy this uh, group pressure that Muslims do, that Muslims sort of like make them manipulated with group pressure and telekinesis and telepathy into thinking. This isn't reality whatsoever of what God wants for people. So be careful, you people who uh, fool yourself, you Muslims, uh, you Muslim zombies who fool yourself. Be careful, because God is kind of is is truly gonna come after you when you when your physical body dies. And even though you made children, your spirit will not be with your children. Your spirit will be in a room, a crystal room, where you will be interviewed about reality uh, of what you have done. And this is what people say that that the whole life. Uh, gets uh, um, goes uh, deja vu. It's not called deja vu. Goes in review, where you review your whole life with God, where God interviews you with every single thing you plan out, strategized, and everything you have done on this. So you Muslim who are planning with your zombie evil behavior of grouping up on people and taking over the world and camouflaging yourself as doctors, as supermarket owners. As taxi drivers camouflaging yourself as secret, uh, where you're really secret soldiers uh, trying to kill everybody um, and torture everybody uh, for not behaving the way you behave, going to uh, some sort of like dome structure and bending over and pretending you're praying to God, where you're not even really praying to God. Um, where I really truly believe that God is more with people who just go to the library and read books. I don't believe that this all scripture that's a copy of the Bible uh, that's written in this very wavy Arabic language that most Arabic people have a hard time to read themselves where they don't really know what the true meanings of each word is and when they have to s make every sign of, the, of their own uh, alphabet or sign language they can't even quite figure it out. And then all of a sudden they figure out it was really from Hebrew and it was a copy of the Bible. So I truly believe that you people who haven't studied this got to be more careful on this planet uh, before you do all your telepathy and telekinesis and think that you're just going to have success with God's opinion, uh, with God's choice with your soul and spirit um, in, the, in the afterlife uh, on this planet.